so what you just heard is Pure Piano, a new app for iOS, and I thought I'll take the opportunity and compare the different available pianos. More specifically, this is Pure Piano, the Ravenscroft 275 from VI Labs, and last but not least, Cork Module with the Ivory American D. So if we take a look at Pure Piano first, what we have here is we have this little dot in the center, and if you move the dot around, you can change presets. For example, here we have Mellow, Intimate, Pad, percussive, bright, detune, semantic, and reverse. And moving those around changes the character of the piano quite drastically, but you can think of them as presets, but you can also have, like say, let's say 50% mellow and intimate, or a little bit pure, a little bit mellow, a little bit intimate. So it all depends on where you put this. If you have it here in the middle, uh, it sounds like a more classical type of grand piano. So as you can hear, the center position is quite versatile. It's a very rounded, very good piano sound. You can use it for pretty much anything, more Baroque music like I just had right now, classical music, more romantic style, whatever, however you like. But if you want, for example, you're, uh, let's say you're playing something from the romantic era and you want to be more intimate and a little bit closer, you can just move the dot down and then you have a more intimate sound. So as you probably could hear, uh, in this case, the sound is a lot closer to the piano. It feels a lot closer. You can hear the damper pedal samples very loud. But also if you listen very closely, you can hear that the hammer noises are also quite loud. So it really feels like you're sitting a lot closer to the piano or more like a, uh, not a grand piano, but an upright that you have open where you can hear the hammers. And let's say, for example, if you move it more to the right, something like here, for example, a mi mixture of pure and bright, it might be more interesting for something where you want a clear sound, for example, like this. This is a first overview of what Pure Piano sounds like and what it can do. It also has an FX section, so you can make your own presets. You don't have to rely on the ones that they provide, but I think the ones that they provide are really good. And I think overall Pure Piano is an extremely good, well-rounded piano. But how does it fare against the other pianos on iOS, more specifically the Ravenscroft or the Cork module? Let's talk about a little bit more of a technical point of view for a second. They're all roughly the same size, around 800 megabytes to a gigabyte. And if you're having a piano that size, you have to make some kind of concession. For example, none of the three have a una corda sample. Una corda is the left pedal. So when I play a sound with the left pedal active or not active, it will basically sound the same. Let me demonstrate this. I don't know if you heard that, it's not exactly the same, so they're simulating a little bit, but you have to trust me that I tried to uh, press the key more or less with the same velocity and the end result was more or less the same sound. And as far as I'm aware, I tried all the three, none of them sampled those, but it's clear because sampling the Una Corda would mean to more or less double the size of the whole library. So I think this is something that they cut out. Something that some of them also cut out is part of the resonance. So if you think about a piano, there's a lot of resonance going on. The resonance of the body, the resonance of the strings, etc., etc. All of them are simulating some resonance, but not all of it. Let me try to demonstrate this. For example, if I 
press a key with pure piano very softly so that there's no more sound and then hit another key on a real piano because the damper is removed the strings of the key that I have pressed will start to vibrate so you have resonance from the strings and pure piano for example doesn't have that so the second I press the key and uh, I hit the second key you will hear nothing like nothing else. Ravenscroft tries and emulates this. So I will make a comparison first with pure piano and then with Ravenscroft so you can hear the difference of what it is doing. If you have listened closely, only on the Ravenscroft after I hit the piano key, you heard this singing sound. That is the string resonance and only the Ravenscroft is doing this. Also, as far as I'm aware, none of them support half pedaling. So on a real piano, the right pedal, the sustain pedal, isn't an on-off switch. It's more gradual. So if you start pressing it very slowly, the dampers lift from the strings and there is a point between totally off and on where you have a little bit of sustain but not a lot and on all three of those pianos that the sustain pedal is basically an on off switch so there's a point and if you are below this point it's on and if you are above this point it's off if you would take my piano here that's a yamaha clavinova 675 even if you press the pedal only very little it starts having a little bit of sustain so if you're really an advanced pianist those are probably not for you if you're just somebody like me who has been playing for two years those pianos will probably work just fine being able to half pedal is usually something that only more advanced people do. We've talked about pure piano, we have talked about a little bit the technical differences between those three. In my personal opinion, all three work quite well if you just want to play. But how do they sound? So let's take a listen. So I think this is enough for a short comparison. Um, what did you prefer most? So for me personally, the pure piano has a lot of body, especially in the deep end. So I think the deep end of the pure piano is fantastic. The Ravenscroft is a little bit more balanced. It has a good deep end and a good high end. And I have to unfortunately say that in this case, the ivory from Cork module is for me the least interesting. It sounds a little less rich and overall a little less resonance and interesting for part three. Let's take a look at one interesting part. So I think even though for playing, like for just playing, I would probably prefer the Ravenscroft. I think the overall package of what you get for pure piano is the best because it's so versatile. Just setting it to the intimate setting, what I demonstrated before, changes the character drastically and you can have even more extreme settings. For example, if I switch this up to reverse, listen what happens now. So on reverse, it literally plays the note in reverse. And of course you could have a mix, for example, between cinematic and reverse. This could be used for quite some interesting things. For example, on our demo here, I used EOS 2 from Audio Damage as a reverb. Excellent reverb. I have medium hall as a preset here, 20% the mix. But in our case here, what we could do is we could use something more extreme. So let's, for example, disable the EOS 2 and let's go to even tight black hole and as you probably know black hole is a very long very deep reverb and now let's see what we could do with this something that is a lot more interesting and a lot more versatile than the demos that we had before
So I don't know if you like that or not, that is up to you. But I think I have demonstrated that with just a very little adjustment, some morphing and a different reverb, you can get a very, very different sound with a lot of movement and this kind of cinematic feeling out of pure piano. So personally, what I would say is if you're looking for a piano that has maximum versatility, pure piano simply is the best option currently there is. It's cheap right now, 50% off for $40.99, but even if you buy this for 30 euros, this is an excellent deal for what you get. So now if you're looking for the absolute best piano just for playing, for example, because of pedal movement, resonance, etc., etc., I think the Ravenscroft still has a tiny bit of an edge. Not much, but a tiny bit of an edge. So depending on what you like more, I would say the choice is between the Ravenscroft and Pure Piano now. Cork module is excellent. For example, if you're using um, Cork gadget a lot, you can't go wrong with Cork module. But personally, I would say now for the full price, Cork module, the ivory is just not worth it. It's, if you buy it full price, it's better to buy Pure Piano or Ravenscroft. If you can get it, uh, half price, but it's also okay. Phew, my cats are making a lot of noise in the background. So next time I'm going to record this in the basement studio, quotation marks. I still hope you enjoyed what I showed you. I hope this helps you make a choice of what Piano VST is right for you. And I will hear you next time. Bye bye. Oida, die Katzen, hey.